So many of us are having bad at What the shit? I just got killed by a care package. What the sh Hey, what's up guys? My name is Hollow and welcome back to the channel. By the way, I don't know why my green screen is making my shirt look blue and gray. So don't ask. So today what we're going to be doing is something not different. I've actually done this sometimes. We're just going to be doing a regular cut com. We're going to have some fun, talk about a few things, and just play Call of Duty and enjoy some Call of Duty. By the way, double XP weekend. It includes a really big fucking white rectangle or square, whatever the... Yeah, I think it's a rectangle. It must be a glitch. Do not be alarmed. It is not a brand new leaked weapon. <laughs> It's okay, we are all safe and sound. Uh, but yeah, you guys have double XP weekend starting now till August on Monday. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. One thing before I even begin talking about what I wanted to talk about was that um, Call of Duty is doing really bad. <laughs> Okay, just so you guys know, this is how crazy Call of Duty is. Call of Duty in sales, as far as, like, keep in mind, this is not exactly what the video is about, but I thought I'd throw this little additional information into your brains. Call of Duty in general, from in-game content, meaning supply jobs, DLC, whatever you guys want to call it, anything that you buy online for the game, they've made over a billion dollars. Yes, one billion dollars. That goes to tell you how many people play this game and how many people just spend money trying to get what they want for DLC. But anyways, Call of Duty is doing really bad. Yes, I know it's it's a little bit like, yo, you just talked about how this game has made one billion dollars. And it's kind of crazy because the amount of reservations that have been made for, for, for the next Call of Duty Infinite Warfare are very low, you know, in comparison to last year for Black Ops 3. But the limited edition, special edition Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is the most out of all the Call of Duties. And why? Because it comes with Call of Duty 4 Remastered, obviously. Ding, 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 ding. I still feel like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is not getting the love and appreciation that it, that a lot of you guys may come to give it once it's released. And I, I include myself in this. A lot of us are very negative when it comes to new Call of Duties. We see something, we're already, ah, uh, this game is shit. Now, I'm not saying the Infinite Warfare is going to be the greatest, biggest next thing. It may be, but I'm not saying... Saying, I'm not sitting here and telling you guys it's gonna be the biggest greatest thing ever because it may not be I'm not I'm just not a Call of Duty guru. You know what I'm saying? Look at this guy What the fuck? Sure is not shit you sit your ass down by the way, a lot of you guys like when I say that. I don't know, like, I say that so many times, like, not wanting, like, I don't even want to say it at times, and I say it so much during my recordings that at times I have to literally crop it out when I'm editing my videos. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you, <laughs> look at that guy. I read a little article, now I cannot confirm or deny this, but I'm gonna tell you guys because I feel like you guys should know. I really feel like you guys deserve to know, and 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 it's basically because, you know, so many of us are bad-mouthing, are just having bad expectations. Yo, the guy in first place is whooping ass. So many of us are having bad- WHAT THE SHIT?! I JUST GOT KILLED BY A CARE PACKAGE! WHAT THE SHIT IS THAT?! That should not be allowed in Black Ops 3. Straight up. That shit should not be allowed in Black Ops 3. Did you guys just see that? Oh my god, I got my <laughs> What are the chances that I'm gonna jump into that spot and I just get killed by a care package, bro? What the fuck is that? Anyways. I read this little article. You guys know 3D movement. If, in case you guys don't know what 3D movement is, now again, I cannot confirm or deny this, but I think it's really interesting, and I and I think it could possibly very well be true. For those of you guys who don't know what 3D movement is, it's just all this advanced movement. So right here, side to side, up down, that's all 3D movement. In other words, the jetpacks, the whole moving crazy stuff, that's 3D movement. Older Call of Duty just had simple, not 3D movements. In this article, Infinite Warfare, and and it it kind of is true. Like if you look at it. They're saying that Infinite Warfare is fuck. My neighbors are gonna kick my ass. They're saying that basically in Infinite Warfare, there's not gonna be as much 3D movement as there is in Black Ops 3. Now that that is actually a good thing because in Black Ops 3, there's a lot less 3D movement than in and uh, Advanced Warfare. I'm sorry. That's why a lot of people like this game because the movement is solid. Yes, it's a little bit you know third dimensional. 
Yes, it's a little bit advanced, but with the same token, it's not insanely advanced to where it's not really enjoyable, kind of like an advanced warfare. If you really look at the trailers that we've been seeing from at, uh, Infinite Warfare, in the campaign, sometimes we see boost jumps and things like that, but we haven't really seen, like, somebody playing like this and jumping all over the place like we have in the past through call of duties now that doesn't mean that's not going to come into infinite warfare but there, it basically means that if they're not showing that in the trailers one obviously they're trying to not freak you guys out and with the same token they're trying to basically balance it out now by the time that they realized that the community was going to hate 3d movements obviously it was already about a year into their you know gaming developing cycle whatever you guys want to call it so they couldn't really completely erase everything, but obviously one thing they could do is adjust a lot of the things in the game. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I just got my ass whooped by an arrow. I am pretty sure, especially in multiplayer, the movement in Infinite Warfare is not going to be how we think it is. Like, I really think that this game is going to take us by surprise. I think, you know, again, I cannot sit here and tell you, trust me, 100%, I know my shit this is legit it's not because it's it's a, it's it's a source that i read you know it's a leak that i read and i just thought that i should let you guys know do not freak out about infinite warfare man because it's literally going to be a complete different whole ball game than what we are picturing right now because we're all just freaked out you see the thing is that everybody's freaked out of this whole advanced movement shit and i understand that because i don't like it either but the fact that infinite warfare is not going to have as much crazy movement as black ops 3 and of course nowhere near advanced warfare just makes me just a little bit more anxious to at least check out the multiplayer portion of the game but yeah guys when, whenever you think about infinite warfare if you haven't pre-ordered it you do what you guys please it really doesn't matter but just know that the game hasn't even been out yet and and everything that i've told you guys is something that i read and i think a lot of you guys will think of the game differently once it comes out and if this does come true black ops 3 movement is okay it's not my favorite i like the traditional movement you guys can let me know in the comments which movement you guys prefer out of all the call of duties mine is the old school traditional way that is the best way for me but if infinite warfare is gonna have is gonna have less movement than advanced warfare and of course less movement than bo3 then honestly that's that's a pretty amazing game that's that's that movement is good as far as the movement it's gonna have a lot of weapons i believe the weapons are gonna be super cool i, I as i told you guys before from the game informer magazine a lot of weapons are coming into this game the graphics look pretty cool we just have to wait and see what happens, man. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions about this. Which type of movement do you guys want in, in Infinite Warfare multiplayer? Make sure you guys let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I would really appreciate it. I'm only going to post one video today because it's Friday. Now, tomorrow is Saturday, so it's classic Call of Duty Saturdays. You guys can let me know in the comments which Call of Duty you guys want me to play as well or whatnot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video overall. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Just thought I'd share this with you guys. Don't give your hopes up yet. Just, just give it a little bit more time. Three months time, we should know exactly what this game is all about. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Hollow, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.